morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. One of the things that seems to be getting overlooked in our uh, focus on the nuclear danger from Japan is that the tsunami and earthquake damage in Japan is substantial and is going to have to be redressed. It is not going to be resolved in a couple of weeks. Yes, we're going to see a tremendous amount of money being spent by the Japanese, but rebuilding their infrastructure is not going to take place over the next two or three years. It's going to be a five to ten year effort. Secondly, um, uh, Mr. Santoli in Barron's observed over the weekend that we have this what me worry stock market. In other words, no matter what happens, it seems the stock market goes higher. Um, and that has the effect of keeping the bears and the short sellers on the sidelines, but it doesn't have the effect of addressing any of our fundamental economic issues. In other words, we're in the middle of a severe housing price decline, perhaps for the first time in a quarter century. You can now get a house better than the one you own for less money than the one you own. That's not good. There's also a tremendous overhang of unsold properties over the last few years. In addition, the legendary short sales are creating a whole other supply of housing. So we have a hard time seeing how there's going to be any structural increase in housing prices. What that means, since housing prices are down and likely to go down, is that people are going to stop, as they already have in some areas, stop trying to tap their equity lines, which gives them money to spend. So as a consequence, what we're looking at is the United States consumer was not only depleted, but unable to access the kind of cash they're used to dealing with. We're already seeing prime borrowers are cutting down on uh, borrowings, as it were. Um, people are going more and more to cash, spending less and less money. And so I have a hard time seeing how the U.S. economy is going to be doing anything positive over the next couple of years, except what it's doing now, which is kind of stumbling along, which compared to where it was a few years ago is terrific. But the fact of the matter is the stock market is trading as if one would believe that the U.S. economy is rip-roaring along <clears throat> and is expected to do so for some time. So we want you to aim for the ice flows, aim for the trouble spots, don't aim for the open water. Open water is simply going to lead you into trouble. So, you know, take a look at the markets today. If you like U.S. stock market, load up on your index funds to keep it, take advantage of that two-track market that now exists. And buy some more gold. Gold trading about fourteen fifteen. We're telling you fifteen hundred or bust. So let's be on the train because we think it's going to seventeen hundred. Have a great day. Keep swinging. Thanks.